मिस्टर बासित मिस्टर बासित पाक आर्मी मुटलेट टू जवान यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग मिस्टर बासित मिस्टर बासित प्लीज पाक आर्मी मुटलेट टू इंडियन सोल्जर Abdul Basit evading all questions choosing not to co comment on the cowardice of his army remember mutilating and killing two jawans across the LOC a Pakistani army in fact stepping over across the LOC into the Indian side to commit this act uh, Nikunj now joining me on the phone line uh, Nikunj uh, silenced by the Pakistan high commissioner even as uh, the Pakistani government tries to say they did not commit any commit any act of this kind but the proof is there for everybody to see matter is the pakistanis are very keenly aware of the fact that if they say that they, they remotely admit that any of the security forces on their side is involved in this dastardly attack then they are liable to be punished for war crimes and pakistani army actually has been uh, multiple times dragged to the international war crimes already by the baluch activists so therefore they don't want any more trouble coming from a sovereign nation like india and therefore silence right now is their best defense and abdul basit in any case he has got nothing to say because he is one of the he is he is one of the uh, you know uh, most uh, inappropriate person and a kind of a rogue diplomat to be in a position of the ambassador ambassador or high commissioner to any nation therefore it is rather prudent that mr basit keep quiet only it's because if he open his mouth he will only aggravate the situation between the two nations and he never has had in the past any positive commentary to us any uh, you know uh, any um, um, any diplomat who is posted in a second country always has to keep in mind the sensitivities of the country or the host country as well but mr basit has shown shown in the past zero sensitivity towards any intention be it something as minor as visit of in national investigative team to pakistan on a reciprocal arrangement with the federal investigative team that visited india uh, some time back so mr basit is actually unfit to be a diplomat and therefore it is rather uh, prudent on his part and the part of his government that he should be withdrawn and if that doesn't happen government of india uh, despite repeated provocations from pakistan side hasn't considered it but time high time that they should consider it that mr basit should be sent back and relation relationship with pakistan should be brought down a level and therefore there should be no purpose of having a high commissioner in india from pakistan side